What's up, everybody? This is Bobby Everything with the Crock-Pot Cartel, and today I have the pleasure of interviewing Spy Row. They are an upcoming German rock band, and let me tell you, these guys are super talented, so we're excited to get into this. Spy Row, go ahead and introduce yourselves, all of you guys, to, uh, to our viewers. What's up, guys? What's up? We are Spy Row, a heavy metal band, heavy rock band from Germany. And we are Sam, Tim, Joe, and I'm Arian. Um, yeah, and we're we're happy that uh, Bobby is such a, a great supporter. Yeah, man, we love you guys. Honestly, uh, I have fun every time I listen to your guys' music. The quality is amazing. You know, everybody really enjoys your guys' music. You make the contender list every Friday. The wheel hasn't landed on your guys' name yet, but soon, soon, guys, soon. So go ahead and, and tell us how, how you guys all met each other. Excuse me? Sorry? How we met each other. How we met? Yeah. Ah, yeah, it's, a, it's a, maybe a little, kind, little bit of a different story like other bands. Um, we grew up together. We basically are family, those three guys in the back um, are brothers. And um, the, the father of them and my, uh, the father of mine our uh, best friends since ever and so we met like at our birth so you so you guys were all friends hanging out playing games riding bikes together before you guys got into the music yeah, yeah. we, we like, learned like walking brothers, together yes. yeah. We, yeah. we learned walking together that's awesome man so that's great that you guys have that that connection that's not just music you know definitely yes. um we call it we call it family it's not a Musical, not only band, band not only a band, band meets family for us, or just because a musical project. It's basically family. Do you family guys fight company. a lot? Excuse me. Do you guys fight a lot? Bike fight. Yeah, we fight a lot. Yeah, we should fight a lot. When we was, were young, we fight a lot. Because he's just three years older than me, so we fight a lot when we were young. But I think uh, like ten years, we don't fight anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I know how that is, being the older brother. I don't have a little. chance against him, so <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't try. The older okay. brother is always in advance. Yes. Gosh, <laughs> older brothers are assholes, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> no, but we love each other. Yeah, man. Me and my little brother, we used to fight all the time growing up. But now that we're older, we have that, you know, that unbreakable bond. So it's yeah, awesome same, that you guys same. have that. How long have you guys been making music together? Well, since uh, since 2005. Uh, we our first gig was uh, was in 2005, and uh, we at started, the age of nine. Yeah, we have to say. Uh, yeah, we were, we, were, we, 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 we yeah, just uh, we three. three. And here, can can you see? Can you see Joe? Yeah, yeah. that's the youngest brother. The, the he, youngest joined brother. The, he joined the band in uh, last, last year. year. Last, last year. year, yeah. And but we three we started in 2005 as a as a ACDC cover band. But oh, because this was a was a good start for us, and um, since 2012 we make nice. all songs. Yes, and we were just kids, so yeah, we're but not that creative at the yeah, moment. Yeah, uh, not that creative. So we don't need to talk about that songs, and we don't play <laughs> any of that songs today. But uh, was, uh, yeah, that, that was the big start actually with the big the, with the first big album, 2019, 19, one of us. 19, yes, yeah. 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 Yeah, but but the first stop was two thousand five. To come That's back crazy. To your question. Eighteen years. Yeah. 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 Wow. That's yeah. still the second. That's pretty amazing. Of Spyro. That's pretty Thank amazing you. because you guys. Thank you. You guys look young. Thank you. <laughs> you guys look yeah, young. I would say we we are still young. So we are <laughs> we're still young. <laughs> 25, 26, 60, 60, 60 yeah, the yeah. youngest brother. Joel G makes us young. He's 16? <laughs> keep us young. He's yeah. 16. Yeah. Oh my goodness. That's crazy. <laughs> See, because I always feel like ancient when I tell people I've been making music since, since 2008. But you guys started a lot earlier than me. <laughs> That's... Yeah, because of our fathers, we haven't had the good... Uh, Good, good start. start. Yeah, good, good start. start. An yeah. easy start because of our fathers. They make it possible for us. Make Musical background. Of course, yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, so the next question I was going to ask you guys is, is how did you get into making music? So that's a pretty good question to follow up with. So you can go ahead and give us a little background about your parents and whatnot, how they got you into it. Mm -hmm. So um, the father of them and the father, father of mine are still best friends, played in a band many years. Um, and so they put the, the music in, in our cradle, into our cradle. And uh, yeah, that's uh, that's the starting point of, of, of Spyro, I think. So all taught by your family. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. But without pressure. So we wanted to do it. Yeah. And um, they never said like you have to do it, and if not, it's we are we are disappointed or something like that. Um, we always wanted it. It's definitely it's man. I love music. I've always been into music since I was super young when when all the other kids were playing with toys and buying action figures. I'm trying to buy a new CD. You know, I'm asking my mom to buy me the new Michael Jackson CD. Yeah, that's the correct way to go. <laughs> so tell us where your name comes from, Spyro. It's definitely a unique name, especially with the pound sign in the middle. It's it's different. It's very different. Um, do you want the, the official story or the unofficial? <laughs> we, <laughs> we want the, the, the more entertaining story. <laughs> <laughs> the more entertaining. Yeah. The, the correct answer to this question is that we were young. We, don't, we don't, didn't know any English words or something, or something like that. And um, we thought, hey, that sounds cool. And um, to be honest, there's yeah, so no, yeah. no deeper was, meaning it into was, it. It was magic, actually. Yeah. No, no. There's no real story behind God it. God gave, it, gave yeah. it to us. There's yeah. no, yeah, there's no meaning. Yeah, it just popped up and you're like, today. well, that sounds cool. Let's roll with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's working. It's working for you guys. It definitely It's working. Is. And it's working for 18 years now. So, how many live performances have you guys done? Ooh, tricky. Few hundred. Few hundred? Yes. Yeah. yeah. I think so. I think that's yeah. Maybe like three hundred, four hundred. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Wow. Well, we want more. For taking the guess. <laughs> Tell us about the craziest thing that's happened at one of your guys' live performances. The craziest thing. The craziest thing. Mm. What's 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 there? Uh, Maybe some technical issues. Yes, this, this is always yes. crazy, but that's how it goes. When uh, we try to stay professional, when that happens, but the craziest thing that ever happened. Mm. Yeah, Maybe uh, that's a good question. We we got a few. How can I say it? A few um, <coughs> visitors on stage, maybe. Yeah, Groupies. They want to <laughs> and something like that. Um, but to be honest, I like it because uh, then we know we do our job good and uh, entertain the people. People are getting into it. That's good. Of course. Mm. That's good. So, so how have things started to take off in the past year? I noticed you guys are starting to get a lot of, a lot of views on the videos and you're getting mm -hmm. really good feedback. Are, are, are things starting to grow faster this past year versus like the past 10? Mm -hmm. Well, I think uh, uh, our first album in 2019, that was a big kickstart mm -hmm. for us, or kickoff for us. And uh, then we uh, went on tour with Nazareth. Mm. And as, as a support act and... and Nazareth. Nazareth, yes. And uh, then w there was a time where we learned more that we want this and we want to go on with that but 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 i think the key was uh, that we that we never lost our our our, our goal um in times of covid um we worked hard we were in the studio we took pictures we wrote songs and that's the that's the key of of the of the of the viewers or the the publico the, the audience, crowd, the audience yeah. um today 
Yeah, got to keep that it content. Actually show that that we really want this. This time really showed it that we want to go on, and we we could not wait when it when we can go on with concert and everything. So we're very thankful that we can play concerts this year and last year. So yes, but the real kickstart was in 2019 with the album, I think, mm -hmm. because uh, as as I uh, as I told you, we uh, we started as a cover band, then we start with our own songs, but that we we have to, had to work on the songs with the time and 2019 we released the first real album that we were really proud of and uh, so since 2019 we go the way to the top also, we want to go the way to the top since then so this as professionals this new release that you guys just put out how's that going so far for you guys uh, we love it we love it um yeah we worked hard for it we have, we, we spend a lot of time with our videographer. Um, he made amazing videos, in my opinion, and um, yeah, we love we love to see the the results of the hard work. And we had a, a successful release show in uh, this February. I must say that the quality of your guys's music is really really top tier. Are Thank you. you are, Thank you. Are you guys going to a professional studio to record, or are you recording yourself? Um, yeah, we, we work with a lot of professional um, people in the, in, the, in, the, in the business, and um, we think it's an amazing quality of, of the songs and the videos and overall the, the pictures. Um, so we are we're very proud of, of it, to be honest. That's what I tell people a lot, you know, if if you want quality music and you want people to take you serious as an artist, you you have to take yourself serious as an artist and and, and take that chance and you're right, you're right. invest you're right. because that stuff is expensive. Stu studio time and high quality videographers, all of that stuff is it gets pricey. It gets it gets pricey, but if you have uh, the contacts in the industry, in the in the business, um, you can make it. Um, you can make it. Yeah, make it happen. Can make it happen on a on a on a pricey scale. On a shoestring budget. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys do during the day? Do you guys have actual jobs and families, or are you just full time rock stars with, you know, the raving fans and groupies following you guys around? What's it like for Spyro? Well, we we have to do uh, a normal job besides the music, but we're working on it that we uh, can leave the normal job or and just uh, make music. And yes, uh, we I I work at a warehouse with Tim. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's just uh, we just work to to uh, to pay the things uh, we have to pay for the band. But we want to go the music way and we want to make music in the future and don't want to work in 10 years. Yes. So we don't see ourselves uh, as a, with a big uh, job career. We just want to be rock stars in 10 years. Rock <laughs> yes. stars, music, baby. Hopefully. Music is basically our passion. And um, it's that thing that we want to do in life. I think that to you guys have it. a very <laughs> high percentage to make it, you know, out of all the Thank rock you. bands Very that much. have we sent in, it. not even just all the rock bands, but just if all the music that I have reviewed in the past uh, two years, going on two years, I've been reviewing music and I've probably reviewed over 15,000 artists. And you guys definitely have some of the, some of the highest quality stuff, man, for Thank sure. You. Thank you. Thank you, man. Thank you. And not just the music, just the whole presentation in general, you know, the high quality music videos. And mm -hmm. it's like taking me back to the 80s on MTV when they were putting all of the money into the music video production. And just, yo, you guys got some really, really good things going on for sure. Mm -hmm. So yes, I we, want to, we, want to, we want to embody the, the new era of this, uh, this kind of music. Um, and and uh, make it on our own in our modern way way who are some of your guys's biggest inspirations 
We have Thanks. to say it. Biggest inspirations. ACDC. 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 Yeah. yeah, we started with ACDC. We hear it a lot today. Um, so we can great have this, musicians. Yeah, if we can great have this musicians. success one day, we are very, very happy. <laughs> <laughs> but this, this will be a long way. Uh, but uh, long way to the top. A long way to the top. Yeah, it's a long way to the top. Like it's, it's a long way to the concept. top if you want to rock and roll. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but we take that long way. So. Uh, the younger band member, that's Joel, right? Yeah, so right here. Let me hear from Joel. Joel, who who do you listen to during the day? When you're not listening to Spyro, what, uh, what music are you AC, listening uh, to? I think uh, ACDC is the most. Really? You guys are still yeah. listening to ACDC on a daily basis? Pretty heavy? Yes. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, do, you, do you know Greta Van Fleet? Yeah, Greta Van Fleet. Uh, and it's my second... Uh, Band, a favorite band. All rock music, no other, no other inspirations. No, just, just rock music. Rock out. Mm, yeah, sometimes, well, sometimes, um, I think it's it's an advantage that uh, you, you you hear something like radio music or rap music or something like that to get inspirations of it. Yes, yeah, but bad. but bad. Um, yeah. but rock music is is it. Yeah, yeah, for Point. sure. For sure. For sure. The only real music is rock music. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we don't have. Uh, that's a controversial music, statement, man. <laughs> what? I said that's a controversial statement <laughs> right there. <laughs> that's a, that's our personal opinion. Yeah, yeah. but, but yeah, it's not, sure. it's, as Arian said, it's not bad to hear some some other kind of music to, to, to get your inspirations from. Of course. But uh, you always have to. Uh, Stick to yourself. To stick your Stay true yeah. to your sound, for sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, definitely. So yesterday was my daughter's birthday. I took her I took her all the way through the spectrum. I played Stevie Wonder birthday song. I played the Beatles birthday song. I played the uh, Spanish birthday song. I took her all the way through all the different musics on the way to school. We played like seven. Played a reggae birthday song. <laughs> <laughs> did you celebrate yeah when? we went to a mexican restaurant it was nice and you know she got the little sombrero and uh favorite foods guys what's your guys's favorite favorite foods <laughs> we, we eat a lot but what's the favorite food kebab <laughs> what did you he say in, in usa what did he say kebab kebab <laughs> It's a, it's, a, it's a Turkish fruit here in Germany. Yeah. Uh, tuna, yeah, but tuna or tuna. Oh, tuna! Yeah. <laughs> tuna! I eat a lot of tuna as well. Yeah, tuna, tuna is as well too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I eat a lot of tuna as well. So, do you guys have have a, a tour planned this year? Or, or yeah, any big events right going now, on? There's no official, official things, uh, so not official things out now, but we're working on it, but, and there will be many plans this year. Well, we got many yeah. plans this year. So Much on our to-do yeah. list. And everything on Instagram and Facebook, so stay yeah, tuned. You guys <laughs> definitely are off to a good start with, with um, releasing that album already this year. And all of these music videos i'm excited to see what else you guys got in store for sure yeah stay tuned we always try to improve on the long way to the top so <laughs> so what would you guys say to a a brand new band or a group of guys trying to get together and start something or maybe a group of guys that play cover songs that's trying to transition into original songs what what mm -hmm. advice or inspiration could you give to a up-and-coming uh, rock and roll band? Well, I think uh, it is important to do music with the right guys. Of course. Yeah. So because uh, we we uh, we can't make music with other guys. It just work in that constellation. So uh, I would tell someone to to looking for the right guys, the guys who have the same dream, the same uh, the same. Uh, Opinions, yeah. uh, the things, and uh, yeah, all band, band members have, have to follow the, the same path, uh, the same goal, and maybe, yeah, that's uh, that's the way to go. 
yeah, to, to be to to work together as one and uh, that not only and it's not about only one guy and you uh, in the band who, who who got a dream and the other guys don't want want it that much as this guy wanted. So I think it's all about to do music with the right boys or people. <laughs> Is there a front man? He's the front man. He's the front man. <laughs> yeah. Sorry? That is what I thought, but you know, a lot of bands would be like, oh, there's no front man. We're all the front man or this, that, <laughs> yeah, the third. So, so it's, there's a difference between front man and a one man show. We know one man show, but uh, I'm, I think I'm the front man as a singer because yeah. I'm on the microphone. So I would, I think I can call myself the front man, but we are no one man show because uh, there's always a part at our show when Tim play make the solo, he's he's in front. He's the front man. Joe is in front. I'm front man, yes. <laughs> then, then, then he's the front man. When he play the solos, I, I have no chance. He's stealing my show at this time. <laughs> so and, so we know one man show, but but I'm the front man. <laughs> <laughs> so is there anything else that that you guys want to tell the viewers or any? Thing you guys got coming up that you want to inform us about before we go ahead and well they they, they have to stay tuned and uh, always uh, try to, to be up to date on our Instagram Facebook but we, because we got a lot of things coming up in the, in the pipeline yeah in the pipeline in the future and uh, yes I think uh, it's and it's always important to stream our songs <laughs> our singles sure. and uh, yeah, I Do think you, this is most important at this time. And visit our concerts. And we will come to USA someday. Do you guys got <laughs> merch yet? We're working on it. Do you guys have merch yet? Like t-shirts and hoodies yet? Yeah, we have merch, yes. Oh, awesome. Brand new merch. Where can we find just you guys the, just at? Just arrived. <laughs> yes. You guys should send me a shirt and I'll wear it on the show. Yeah, send me your address. Yeah, yeah for can sure. send you one. Good idea. Where can we find your music, your merchandise, and everything else? So merchandise is uh, just arrived, but our music uh, you can find on Spotify or Apple Music or Google Music, YouTube, whatever you like. And that is spy hashtag row. Yes. Guys, yes. this is this is Spy Row's first first USA interview. They got. A bunch in store this year. You guys got to stay tuned. You can follow them on all their socials at spy hashtag row. And they are coming to a concert venue near you. Let's go. Thank you guys so much. I had a great time talking Thanks with you guys. Thank you Yo, much. I can't wait to get the shirt. I will wear it and promote you guys in the stream like, like we have been doing. Thank, thank you guys so much for your time.